Welcome to the Alexander Dennis Electric Bus video, which is aimed at showing you how to obtain maximum range and efficiency from your Alexander Dennis Electric Bus. Whether you're about to drive an electric bus for the first time, or you've had experience with electric vehicles in the past, this video will help you understand the driving styles to maximise the range of the bus. The range is the distance a bus can travel on a single charge of the batteries. We aim to show you why your effective driving makes a difference. Obtaining the best efficiency and maximising the potential range from your Alexander Dennis electric bus is no different to obtaining the best miles per gallon on a regular diesel powered bus. Constant on off use of the accelerator and brake pedal will affect the overall efficiency and reduce the range of the vehicle. Maintaining the constant speed is the most efficient way to drive. This can be achieved by reading the road conditions ahead. Monitoring the dash display when it is safe to do so will help you achieve the maximum range and efficiency from your Alexander Dennis electric bus. The main areas to observe are 1. Avoid heavy braking. The key to efficient driving is to avoid wasting energy in the bus disc brakes. The regenerative braking system is designed to harvest kinetic energy as the bus slows down. This happens automatically as you lift your foot off the accelerator or gently press the brake pedal. The energy is fed back into the batteries to be used later. If you brake too hard, the system power limit can be exceeded and the control system will have to blend in the disc brakes to slow the bus down. This wastes energy. It's about reading the road ahead so that heavy braking can be avoided as much as possible. 2. Drive smoothly and steadily. A good level of retardation, which is a term used for slowing down the bus, is available by simply lifting your foot off the accelerator pedal. The bus enters what is known as coasting regen mode, so in moving traffic there is less requirement to use the brake pedal. Just lifting off the accelerator will start to slow the bus down to a stop, although always be ready to use the brake when required. Effectively, the electric motor becomes a generator absorbing the energy of the bus, like a retarder on the diesel-powered bus. 3. Other things to consider Electric vehicles utilise the battery pack which drives the bus. It is also used to power everything electrical, from the interior and exterior lights, right through to the doors, heating, ventilation and air conditioning. This means that every electrical consumer in use is reducing the potential range of the vehicle. The vehicle has been designed with efficient electrical components such as LED lighting which uses less energy compared to conventional lights. The word PACE is a good way to remember how to drive the bus most efficiently. PACE stands for Power, Anticipate, Coast, Ease. Power. The accelerator pedal directly affects how much energy is consumed from the batteries. Monitor the power bar on the dashboard when it's safe to do so. This is a useful guide to help identify energy used and recovered whilst driving. Try to keep the white triangle in the middle of the power bar. More energy is consumed when accelerating, driving at higher speeds, driving up hills or gradients, and pulling away from stationary. Constant use of high power drawing components will also reduce the potential range of the bus. Anticipate. Reading the road ahead improves the opportunity to maintain the speed rather than constant acceleration and deceleration. Try not to apply the brakes too heavily and avoid coming to a stop if possible. Coast. Lifting off the accelerator brings in a proportion of the regen braking. Use the accelerator to control the bus speed on downhill gradients and for gently slowing down. Use light pressure on the brake pedal if needed to bring the bus to a standstill. Note, when allowing the bus to coast down hills or when slowing down, Hover over the brake. If the accelerator is touched, the regen stops. It is always recommended to be ready to use the brake pedal during coasting should a hazard occur. Ease. Ease onto the accelerator when pulling away. Avoid hard acceleration, especially from a standing start. Use the accelerator in a smooth and progressive manner. Be easy on the brakes. Avoid heavy braking, especially on steep downhill sections, and apply the brake pedal in a smooth and progressive manner. To recap, reducing the amount of energy used through the accelerator is the most efficient way of extending the vehicle range. 1. Allow the vehicle to coast down hills or when slowing down. Hover over the brake. 
but if the accelerator is touched, the regen stops. Two, try to avoid heavy acceleration, otherwise the 80% pedal warning could be displayed. Note, recent buses have acceleration limiting software and the bus will tend to mitigate the effects of heavy accelerator pedal use. So the important aspect is preventing heavy braking where the driver exceeds the maximum available regen and starts to use the bus service disc brakes. Three, try and monitor the power bar to minimize energy used and maximize regen. 